Hi, I'm Kev from SonsOfKane.com. Thanks, guys, for all your great comments this week. If you'd like to see something, or a little scenario, or any ideas that you have, stick them down in the comment section. With me as usual is Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Kev. This week, we're doing a cash point hold-up, or ATM. Bearing in mind, if somebody wants to stab you, shoot you, and rob you, they're going to do it, unless you're 100% aware. This is just an idea, a principle you can work on and train, and then you can build up your aggression, training levels, and all the other things that we talk about as we go along. So if we're doing this from a two count scenario. We will be doing this from a wheelchair perspective, but that's a completely different video, so we'll save that for a later date. So, as you know, two canes, we tend to have one this way round and one standard. So the idea is, I can have that, got my balance, this is in the crook of my arm, I can use a cash point machine or ATM machine. This is what we call the hold up, so we've got a hand on the shoulder, I've got a knife in my ribs. What he's trying to do is be discreet while he's doing it in case there's people around. So what I need to do is make sure I'm stable, so I'll go into the pistol drawer to get my stability, drop my hand slightly here, and I'm just going to press off this cane so I can swing around. I'm going for the elbows. I can then drive this up under his chin, place this down, and then I can do my strikes depending on my threat level. I would keep it below the waist, maybe go for the ribs depending on the level of threat from the weapon, but try and avoid the head. Able bodied, this is not really going to change much. I would still have the cane in the crook of my arm so I can do the pistol draw. Hand on, knife in the ribs, I know where he is. He hasn't stabbed me, so he's not just going to blatantly go for it. He's threatening me. Nothing has changed. I'm pushing away on the elbow, the balance point. I can do my pistol draw to grab my cane. I can then just repeat what I was doing because I've got a little bit more on the mobility. I can add a few more digs in if I want to, but nothing of the principle of the technique has changed. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you like this video. Again, comments down below, let us know what you think. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Ring that bell, free the fear.